How do you feel like Orchid's mission has evolved over the last five years, if it has it all in your mind? I don't feel like the mission has changed. I mean, it'd be very clear about that. I mean, I, I feel like and we, and whether you can go back to 2017, I was talking um, with uh, people on, on how would we narratively market this sort of thing. And we were talking about the natural internet to the, the things we're working on today. This is we, We've been attempting to build this, as as your question had pointed out, open, unrestricted internet owned by users. And I think when you, when you, when you hear, uh, you know, whether it be me or, or Seven talk about, you know, the issues that we experience, I think that that's something that we're heavily driven by. And so I, I don't, feel like the mission has changed, nor do I necessarily feel like the mission should change at this point. I, 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 the mission, maybe one day, wouldn't it be glorious if it were complete <laughs> um, in the sense that the, the internet was, but I feel like that's something that's, it's almost, it may be a never ending mission in that sense, because I think that it's a war, it's a tension between the people who are attempting to be able to live their lives and be able to have those kind of direct interactions um, with you know the, the powers that be that that feel it very important um, to be able to maintain their control over over others, and so given that the, the power dynamic that is inherent in such a such a statement, uh, it is you may see a cat and mouse game essentially arise over the course of of decades or forever. I mean, I think we saw this in the last the last couple of years of the pandemic where we. Uh, you know, we like I'm living in Europe now, and we have GDPR, and we have all these opt-in, opt-out kind of things. And meanwhile, there's a European COVID passport, and we all opt in with all our data, and we KYC to go into stores. And we may be getting like protection on the internet, but we we opt into data collection all day long. And you know, many people, many times, people think this is no big deal anymore. And many people in China, most people in China, think it's no big deal to have the government watch you. I think that's one of the challenges is that, as Jay was saying, it's it's a cat and mouse game. It's just kind of like a war and you, you're you constantly pushing against the social norms. I mean, back in the early, in the 90s, I guess, in the early 2000s, the idea that something like Facebook would exist and that much data would be collected and that much data would be provided seemed like kind of crazy, but um, everybody did it and it wasn't a big deal oh. and people didn't care yeah. and then suddenly they did and actually they still don't really care. <laughs> like kind of a challenge, right? About two billion of them seem to seem to not care, at least not not as much as as you think they might care or should care. 